Welcome back to the Old Iron Lover channel. My name is Bob, and uh, this is the uh, next installment in the bending brake project. In this segment, we're going to be building the clamp lever. There's actually two of them, and that's this piece right here. And uh, we're also going to build the stud that holds these two pieces together. There we go. So I made a CAD drawing of this. Um, we're going to make one of these uh, clamp levers, uh, just a bar of stock. It's uh, total dimensions, raw dimensions would be 700 high, 5 and 7 eighths long, and inch and a quarter wide. And so the first thing we're going to do is knock all that down. As much as possible, I'm going to use this little uh, two inch mill. I really like this. It's a, it's a very nice little mill. It's indexable and it's a uh, pretty decent quality. And I'll take a uh, uh, 30 thousandths or something just to clean it up. And 20. Thirty thousandths. Wind it up. Feed speed's about four inches per minute. Going to uh, take it out and deburr it, flip it over, and uh, cut the other side to the final thickness, which is uh, 700 thousandths. Okay, last pass, and we are just about 10 thousandths short of being where we want to be. Light finish pass to clean it up. Okay, let's mic it and see what we got. Reading a thousand thunder. Okay, I got everything laid out with a sharpie marker. I'm going to go ahead and drill the three holes in the uh, top of it. Okay, it's set just like that in the mill. So uh, we're going to drill a half inch hole, uh, 13 30 seconds, and a three quarter hole. And we're actually going to ream the two end holes to size since they're at pivot points. Uh, then we're going to mill this down to 330 thousandths thick this area and this area down to 540 thousandths thick and we're done. I'll probably flip it over and, and do the counter bore that we see right here, this little counter bore. Okay, we'll start with a quarter inch pilot hole. Got the DRO set for the center of this edge right here so I can just walk down the centers and take the distances I need to drill. Punched them just for sanity check. So 625 will be the first one. Okay. Oh, 625 plus 50. I almost, I almost messed that up. So we'll zero it at 50. That's why I put the sanity check in there. 
50 is half of the diameter of the uh, wiggler. Okay, zero that. Now I can go 625. Now, that looks pretty much dead on. Alrighty, let's uh, get some cutting oil here. Quarter inch, just a pilot hole. Now we're going to drill a hole just a little under half inch. thing about having a VFD is you can turn this down real slow. Okay, the next one we're going to drill 13 30 seconds. Two and three quarters over from where we are now. Okay, this is a uh, clearance hole for a 3 8 bolt, and it's the size that my uh, counterbore needs for its guide to fit. So, well, this is a quarter inch drill, but when I get to that. Switch that out for a 13-30 seconds. And this is just a clearance hole, so I'm not going to bother reaming it. Seven five further. Let's 
Let's move the tripod just to here. There we go. Okay. This should be the place for this hole. That sure looks good to me. spot there. spot down the bottom there. Push your way through it maybe. I tried to hand ream this or to uh, power ream this before. And it didn't work out. It's uh, just not got enough grip to hang onto the reamer. I used the tap guide to, guide to kind of get me started on a straight here. And I've just been using these two wrenches to kind of help push it evenly. not really seeing the torque. Now we're starting to get some torque. Okay, we got a rim to three quarters.
300 counter bore. Okay, so this is X0 and Y0 right there. Now, back to what I was thinking a minute ago, and go ahead and uh, put the three quarter inch collet in there, or, and the uh, three quarter inch mill, or the 0.701 mill, and uh, touch off there. Okay, so we need to take five thousandths off of this side. Six ninety four. So I should go down six more thousandths as well. No, I got this one. It's two, two twenty-nine and a half, two thirty. That's perfect. The width of the groove here is seven o five or so, seven o four. So I want to be. Let's take about thirty-five off of this side. Now the only critical measurement here is the width of that slot. The width of these deals up here don't, does not matter at all. Not when it's this close. This needs to be three quarters of an inch. Seven thirty-nine. So we need to go eleven thousandths more. Forty-eight there. Seven five zero, oh, about as close as I can see it. Thanks for visiting the old Iron Lever channel and the series on the uh, building of the bending brake. There are a number of episodes in this series, so please uh, check back regularly. 
I'll try to post them uh, about twice a week until they're all up, uh, assuming I can keep up with the editing. So uh, if you uh, like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to make a comment that you think I'd like to hear, well, please add that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that's always welcome too. Please subscribe. Until uh, the next episode, happy trails.